All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Jake Ellis here. I'm here with the Huawei watch. They call it Huawei, Hawaii, a whole bunch of different, different names. But I decided to <clears throat> look into this watch, and my wife bought me this for my Christmas. So I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys and show you guys how this watch looks. This watch is beautiful. Gorgeous, beautiful watch. The box that it comes into is amazing. As you can see, it says, it's a timeless design. And I'm so impressed in how they package this box. Because I'm like, I didn't expect them to like go all out like this. But I guess for the price that you pay for this watch, they better give you something, right? So it comes just like this out the box when you take it out. And all the accessories and everything is right below right here. So you take these out. See if I get that out. There we go. And you go down here, you see the usual stuff. The book that tells you everything about the watch. And here goes the charger. And some Spanish stuff. Cool, right? Can't understand what the hell that says. There goes the power brick. The adapter. Here goes the actual part that plugs into the watch and it's magnetic so it'll basically hold the watch in place. The watch will be moving all over. Open up this box and show you the stuff that comes in it. It's a whole bunch of stuff, usual stuff telling you about the watch. watch is really 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 beautiful the quality is amazing it feels really good um, it's actually sci-fi crystal the glass that's on it it's not gorilla glass it's sci-fi crystal which is the best glass to put on a watch you know like the most expensive watch out there this is the kind of glass they use so it's very hard to scratch it's a stainless steel body the metal is stainless steel it's genuine leather bands and it has a heartbeat sensor on the um, heart rate monitor on the bottom and it has I guess two of them so it picks up your heart rate more accurate or faster or whatever the case might be the screen is 400 by 400 resolution and it's a I think it's a 1.4 in screen if I'm not mistaken it's pretty pretty nice it's it's basically this um, it's, it's, it's a 42, just like the, just like the Apple Watch got a 38 and a 42. This is basically the 42. So it's not too big and it's not too small. It's a good enough size. The screen, I'm not even going to lie to you in person. The screen is amazing. Amazing. And I've been playing with the watch for like two or three days now. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed. My only gripe, yeah, for some reason, I don't know why people keep saying the watch is really thick. It's not that thick. It's not that bad. My only gripe is the charger. I think they could have did a better job with the charger. And that's my only gripe with this watch. The charger. That's it. I think they could have really did a better job. But, you know, it is what it is. You already know what it is. Jay Gallus, let me know what you think. You probably try to invest in